So uh, Daryl's just been coming to do some feeding up. He's been feeding the boa goats in the back pen, and as we've fed them, there's two of them kidding at the exact same time during dinner time. So uh, this one just down here with Daz's at the minute, that's had one, and then there's one just behind us, that very loud one there, who seems a bit more interested in the food than she's in giving birth, but she's gonna have one as well. She's got a fluid sack out at the back. This one's had one, we're expecting it to have another at least. So a very, very busy time. Uh, not a straightforward dinner time here at Cannon North Farm, so we're gonna keep an eye on them and let's see how they get on. So this is the one that's already had one, and as you can see, there's another one well on the way. They really are a lot more interested in the food than they are anything else. So we've had to take them out of there to pen them up just so they actually start paying attention to what they're doing, but it's not easy. So you can see two legs there. Um, now, we're not going to get involved just yet. We like to try and leave them to have natural births as possible. Uh, and that seems to be in the right position as long as we start to see a nose um, sort of coming out there at some point in the next few minutes. Uh, we'll be on to a winner. She's paying that one a little bit of attention now. That's very good. It's a nice, strong little kid that, making plenty of noise, letting mum know what it wants, which is a bit of attention. And then this one just behind, just here, like I said, she's giving birth as well. So there we go, you can start to see the head coming out now. There we go, mum's gonna lie down, she's gonna try and get comfy now. She's not in an ideal position there, just against the gate, so we're just gonna move it. Come on, lass. There we go. She couldn't have picked a worse spot there. So this goat kid now, head's out and I'm just gonna give it just a little bit of help. I'm sure naturally she would do it, but when you see then just the heads out like this, it can be a little bit worrying. So we'll just, there we go. That one's out as well. Another nice big strong one. So, can't be complaining with that. Like I said, I just had to jump in there just for a sec, because it's, uh, it's just nerve wracking as, as much for me as it is for anyone else. When you just see the head out like that, uh, it gets you a little bit scared and you not just want to get it out, so you're no longer worried about it. So I just gave it a little bit of help there. Uh, Mum's doing a great job. I, I can't say for definite, but I suspect it's just the two. They're some really big, strong goat kids. So that one's already got its head up. Already shown us what it's all about. Mum's going to show it a bit of attention now. And then it'll be on to the next one. This one just here. She's a little bit further off yet, but she shouldn't be too much longer. So she's starting to lick it already. That's exactly what we want. So this is how quickly it happens, and it always tends to happen at the end of the day. We're getting packed up and ready to uh, head off home once we've fed up, and leave it to Rob and uh, Dave to sort the rest of the animals out, but they always like to give us a last hurrah before we go. So that's two there at least. And then uh, this one just here, you can see, just got a bit of a fluid bag there at the minute. She's not pushing too much at the moment, but it shouldn't be too long, I don't think. I think she must have heard me, she's going to do a little bit of pushing now. Right guys, just to catch you up, uh, I've just, she was taking a, quite, a, quite a long time this second one and uh, I just jo jumped in because I was getting a little bit concerned, she's been going at it a while now, she's been trying but not getting anywhere so I just stepped in and uh, this is what we got, uh, this not so little one here, this must be twice as big as the ones that we saw, the other one give birth to a little bit earlier, it's at least twice as big and she would have really really struggled to give birth to that on her own. It's uh, a biggie, so she's paying it some attention already and that is really, really going to be fine on its own. It'll be up doing what it needs to do in no time. I just need to give it a bit of a spray of iodine on its navel. Now, I don't know for definite. Um, I'm going to have a feel in just a minute to see if she's having another one, but if she was just having one, I wouldn't be surprised because that's, uh, like I said, a rather big kid. So, there you go, it just shows sometimes you do need to intervene. I wouldn't have felt comfortable leaving that to, uh, to give birth on its own, um, especially not with the size of it. She was going to uh, most certainly struggle towards the back end. So, a good outcome. Right, guys, so we waited a little while there just to be sure. She hasn't had another one yet. It's been about another uh, half an hour or so. Um, so I'm suspecting that may be it. We're going to keep a close eye on her. Uh, Ruth's here until about 12 o'clock tonight and then uh, Rob or Dave will take over and they're going to come and check on her just to be sure. But we think she might just be having the one. So there you go, that's how it goes. In space of what? Uh, maybe 30 to 40 minutes uh, we've had all these boa kids born. And that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, there's no guarantee that they're going to come all uh, nice and in order and sometimes they all decide to come at once. 
Uh, nevertheless, a lovely outcome. The first one had two, and they're doing perfectly well. Uh, they're a little bit smaller, but they're doing fine. And then the second one, well, we've just seen she's had that one big one, uh, which is going to absolutely thrive, I can tell you that for sure, just by the size of it. Right, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.